I'm going to explain the use of the reset button on the service keypad on the inner door of your FastCorp Divi Evolution 2 or Evolution vending machines. It's located in the bottom right corner here and while on previous models this was used to clear errors it is not used in this way on those model machines. This is only used when you need to clear the board of all its selections and or clear the calibration data. Typically if someone is using this it's because they need to recalibrate the arm to the board so if you change a controller board or change your robot you must calibrate before you can run otherwise the robot will not know where it is inside the cabinet so you do this by pressing the reset button and you hold it you don't just press it you have to hold it and it will say that it will force reset up and you hold it until it says arm uncalibrated it's also a good idea to scroll to menu 4 with the star key which is create selection which is where you need to go to recalibrate the arm once it's been cleared and it should automatically bring you there depending on the version of firmware in your machine so here we go I'm gonna press the reset button and I'm gonna hold it and it's gonna beep and you'll see that it says this forces reset up and then it will say arm uncalibrated and you let go now once you let go it might say arm uncalibrated and stay there or it might automatically go to set arm at left wall so once you see set arm at left wall on the display you need to manually move the arm into the first calibration position all the newer machines have this label you may or may not have this if you have one of the early evolutions you won't uh, this diagram this is the first position shows you where the arm goes and this is the second position so I'm bring this over here so you can see what I'm doing okay so we're gonna take the robot we're gonna fold the shoulder joint all the way to the left to the back wall and we're gonna move the front uh, this elbow joint over to the left wall some people will move it and then let it relax off the wall some people prefer to hold it just against the wall which is actually more repeatable once you have it in that position you just come over to the keypad and press the pound key now you're gonna see on the display that it says set arm at delivery and that's just the position in the front of the cabinet where the product is delivered from or dropped from so we just bring this out and make it straight from the back wall and once we're in that position we'll hit the pound key again to save it now once it's done like that I like to do a load and close because this will tell me if the calibration was successful and you just push the load button and as long as the arm folds up to the back center and then returns when you press the close that verifies for you calibration was done correctly and you're ready to operate again